Hi, this is Skinless, the guild leader for the Alliance Guardians, and today we're going to be looking at the journey guide for Grandmaster Yoda. Now, um, for those of you who haven't been around super long, uh, Yoda was the very, very first, um, I guess, uh, legendary character that was ever released in Star Wars Galaxy Heroes. And so, the event isn't exactly geared to be that difficult. Um, it was very 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 different back when we first started playing this game um but today we can kind of see that going from the old days where we had maybe 10 characters or so to play this with we now have a plethora of options and opportunities and tunes to to do this with and i wish i had gas unlocked so i could show you if we could uh, try to solo this uh, event but let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, unlock verse and then the the ability to get the seven star and kind of the, the different opportunities that you can go through so I'm gonna go ahead and pop right here into the event and we're gonna start with our five star as always um, what I've gone ahead and done was I've already pre-selected my very very lowest of my Jedi teams um, as far as for what my characters are now the leader ability it can matter it can't sometimes as far as for this event goes it's really going to be a matter of just understanding how to control your enemy and how it's going to work here um i've selected ima gundai this is actually the jedi that i initially very first did this with um for this first one here where all allies gain the 30 percent defense and the jedi allies gain 35 percent encounter chance and 25 percent counter chance and we're going to go ahead and we're going to show you each one with a different leader or a different uh different position essentially to kind of give you an idea of how this event doesn't matter exactly which jedi you have uh, but instead looking at how to properly manage this event i mean i even have jedi knight guardian in here so let's go ahead and pop right in here and some of these characters will have some of you won't um, but we're going to try to get some of the more common characters off the bat so right off the bat you can see here with a five tier you have just yoda who work with he's got tenacity up and then the other thing he's got here is going to be his protection up now that's the thing you have to always have to watch for it's going to be the protection up and the tenacity up if you can get a character that can dispel on there or somebody that can um get ability block something along those lines uh that's really going to be your ultimate key if you're having trouble or you're trying to do this at a really low level um a wonderful option for this is normally going to be having bastilla sean now I i've chosen not to use bastilla sean for this initially only because i felt it wasn't right to pull out my gear 12 characters i wanted to have something to show you guys how you can do this without needing to have the meta you don't need to have the greatest options available in fact most of my abilities i'm going to try to use here are either going to be basics or passive um, just to kind of give you an idea um for those of you who have some of these characters i want to highlight some of these abilities so like force push here um this says that it uh, d d deals the damage to the target enemy with a 75% chance to uh, stun the tune for one turn, and 100% chance to inflict ability block for three turns if the target is a droid. Keyword is droid, so that's not going to help you a lot here, unfortunately. So we'll use our basic. And Yoda is quite fast, so unless you have Maz and are working with your tunes, he's going to be a fast option now old ben is a tune that is going to be needed for cls he's somebody you might have actually pretty early on um, i like the fact that he number one he taunts with his um devoted protector ability so he gains that taunt and the defense up there um, the other thing i really like about him is going to be his mind tricks so this is going to be an inflicting the ability block which is great um, especially against yoda because you've essentially stopped him from being able to do his protection up ability again now um Jenna guardian although she has her saber throw which has again the ability block and chance to do things here the other thing annoying that you're going to find is that grandmaster yoda is going to consistently have his um his foresight going on so in fact if you're not sure what an ability is just to kind of give you uh, again a head start on understanding what characters do um, you can select the character and it'll give you a little map like this here so like the foresight evades the next attack of available and offense down um, which is something i've applied so if you're ever wondering what one of those little symbols means 
that's a really great way to be able to tell is just to kind of hold on to the character for a second and give you an idea. So I'm going to use a basic here since, well, there was no chance of me hitting. So I'm going to go ahead and take him out there. Uh, with Johanny, there's a few different things you can do here. Uh, not my favorite character in the game, but she is something that you can use and she's needed for Darth Revan. Um, you can have her gain taunt and stuns the target enemy for one turn, which can't be abated, which is great. Um, there's also the Remorseful Thrash, which is going to be the dealing physical damage to all enemies before each critical hit. Johanny recovers 10% of health and protection. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, again, I'm going to use a basic here. I really want to show you guys kind of how this works here. Um, and we're going to go into the harder modes with a little less explanation. Um, but right off the bat, well, he's got his protection up. That is what you're looking for. That's what you're trying to make sure you can avoid and try to defeat. So I'm going to use that special there and see we got a counter in so he does he goes down pretty quick um so it's not a hard event by any means especially if you're you know working on gearing up some of your jedi trying to get them ready for the events um this was an extremely hard event when it first was new but at this time it's it's changed a little bit so these are things to kind of just understand how the mechanics work and really teach you how to go through and um, understand how some of these characters interact so we're gonna take an ema gun die out and maybe let's say um let's go ahead and pick another random uh leader here so i can pick maybe old ben as my leader where they get in the evasion and the turn meter um and, and see how that goes. And then what we're going to do is in the tier 7, we'll show you something a little different. Let's go ahead and throw a Mace Windu in there. He's not very uh, very popular. Um, another character you might have is going to be uh, Jedi Consular. People, everyone gets Jedi Consular as your first gift. So let's go ahead and pull him in and see kind of what we can do a little different. See if there's different abilities, different things we need to do. And right off the bat, you're going to notice that Yoda has gained some friends. So right away you're gonna have an additional two enemies to work with and to deal with so uh, what we're gonna go ahead and do here is we're going to start off with the ability block uh, and well see i started off that way and i want to show you guys that the tenacity up so if you look at your characters you see he's got the tenacity up he resists negative status effects so even though i tried to get that ability block it didn't work so you kind of have to be smart about when you choose to do some of these um some of these attacks i have found that taking out the side enemies is actually easier for me uh some people will say that taking out the um taking out yoda to begin with might be a better option but i have found that taking out the side guys first is going to be the initial first thing you want to do this puts him in a position where he's not giving the protection up to your enemies uh, around them uh, you're not getting a lot of the extra challenges that may occur and having somebody like say jedi consular on your team which is again a really great it, he's actually a really great tune in his own way you can get the heal um he doesn't heal protection though but he's something that you can think about and kind of debate about and have an option available to you so right now um we're kind of in the same spot we were before i'm gonna go ahead and see we got a we got a stun which is pretty great now if you've never used mace windu another tune that you may have earlier on depending on whether you got him from a chromium pack or you use a character you really enjoy uh some of the abilities to look at are gonna be like invincible salt which deals physical damage to a target enemy if mace has the 50 percent um, health i mean th there's extra bits he gets from his basics I and mean, he's got what could be a really good kit here i mean he deals the special damage to target enemy or was all positive status effects let's go ahead and use this here because we want to go ahead and remove uh the status effect here which is going to be the potency up we don't want him to have potency uh yoda is going to be a tune that is going to give uh stun to your tunes so we want to go ahead and get rid of that there and start chipping down at him so just kind of keep going there just hitting him with whatever we got at this point so because at some point here he's probably up oh, see and this is what i was talking about earlier we got the ability block on him initially if we did not have that ability block 
then he does this. He gets the tenacity up. So, and we also get the protection up. So that's not something we always want. We want to try to prevent this as best as possible. So the reason why I show these things is so that you can understand kind of the very early mechanics. Again, this is probably the very first event you're going to end up doing in this game. And it's very important that you understand kind of what is behind it. It's not a hard event but it is an event that can be managed. So what we're going to look at now is... So we can go ahead and... Let's go ahead and pull back the other characters. I'm going to show you two different things here. Um, we're going to go ahead and pick another leader. Um, let's say Eeth Koth. Jedi allies gain 60% defense. I want you to understand that no matter what Jedi you pick, you kind of can't go wrong. What we'll do next is we're going to show one more after this, uh, which is going to be the Jedi that you're probably going to be getting right off the bat. Now, the difference between this one and the last one we saw here was instead of having guards or knights, you now have random other Jedi. So we want to be uh, cautious in the way of understanding that these Jedi are going to be a little bit more difficult so understanding these players kits is going to be catamite to your success so let's go ahead and use ima gundai's rubuk now this is going to be dealing physical damage to target enemy and granting all allies defense up for three turns so i'm going to go ahead and start off here with taking out luminara luminara is going to be the healer the one who starts putting the the the, the effects um of really what you'd rather not have on your team now i may be picking some buttons here that may not make sense initially so i'm using a lot of passive abilities i i'm out i'm out geared for this one you you can do this with gear six gear seven tunes so i'm kind of showing that even if you make mistakes you press the wrong button you can still go forward and win this so it's not a hard event it's just a matter of understanding kits and that's what this event is meant to teach is just to understand the initial kits of your jedi so as you can see here we're easily overtaking them with jedi that are long forgotten unfortunately maybe not supposed to be forgotten but um forgotten all the same so um we're going ahead and we're gonna show that oh there we go we got some offense down we can kind of make some more mistakes here just oh we gotta dodge look at that and see that's gonna be the annoying part isn't that grandmaster yoda he's always gonna get that protection up you don't want to get that protection up so the faster that you can actually kill him so don't make the same mistakes i'm doing here i'm doing this just to show you how easy this event can be if you play it right and you try to get those ability blocks you try to stun him you try to get everything you can detrimental on this guy then you can be successful and you don't need to have the best tunes you don't need to have the coup de gras of what your roster offers nowadays a lot of people have the concept of having jedi knight revan sometimes before they even have gmy which is absolutely insane to me just because well playing this game for four years you, you don't realize how you know where where the the game is gone so we're gonna go ahead and finish him up here and let's see so making some mistakes making some mistakes and it's kind of drawing it out a little bit but you can see that even though i'm having this whole like oh I'm, i can't seem to get him i can't do this or that everyone's still alive everyone's still got great protection or got health at least we don't have to worry about losing anything so we'll go ahead and run that again and let's see probably one more hit oh probably one more after that nah, I'm wrong. all right see if he got another one so that's why you want to make sure that you're watching his protection up you want to get those ability blocks you want to get those debuffs on him that's how you're going to do this um, i've seen people on reddit who have gotten this character at seven star at you know as low as level 
I want to say the lowest I've seen was 52 or 49, something along those lines. So it's very, very possible. So I'm going to show you one last lineup here. And the reason I'm going to show you this lineup is because most people are going to be playing to have specifically um, Genite Revan characters. So Bastilla Sean, Jolie Bimbo. Um, you're going to have Jahani if you're looking for Darth Revan. Um, and then you're going to have Phoenix. And then Phoenix, you're going to have Ezra, and you're going to have Canon. So these are the, the probably the five most common Jedi you're going to have outside Jedi Consular, which was a gift from your level one starting of this game. So let's go ahead and give it one more run here, just so you can kind of see what can be accomplished. And the other thing that this is going to highlight is the fact that the side Jedi, they change every time. This is why it's so important to start understanding kits now. If you don't understand kits now, then it's not going to be something that you are going to later on understand. You need to start looking into what does this character do? What what can they do for me? And what can they do to me? So, like Ezra, you're going to go ahead and use like Watch and Learn. He's going to go ahead and send some term meter to the other place and you get some different benefits based on what the kind of character it is. Um, we have his Flourish, which is going to be his Dispel, which we're not going to use right now because we want to save that Dispel. So if you're looking to really win and take out a character, I actually like to use the Assist option on characters like Kit Fisto because I know from playing this game that Kit Fisto is somebody who will counter. So when you call an Assist, the counter is different. It's not the same call Bastilla there and see how easy that was I mean yes the characters are stronger but the concept doesn't change we're gonna go ahead and try to use a stun oh ability block even better so you can call an assist here let's go ahead and call say Bastilla Sean to assist I know she's my best so I'm gonna call her so these are things to be looking at and as you progress in this game, and as you learn to play, you don't have to pay. You don't have to push to the point where you're rampant and don't understand what's going on anymore. You just If you do the research, this is easy. So, I know this was a, uh, a little bit longer drawn out, a lot more talking than I normally do. But it's a way to show you guys how you can... On the simplest level understand this game look at the kits read what they have to say don't just play the game and press buttons don't press auto actually read and I uh, appreciate as always you watching the videos and I hope this has been very educational and if you know if you like the video please give me a like if you uh, like my uh, my stuff in general just go ahead and give me a subscribe it tells me uh, I mean I don't I don't care about monetization I just want to know that um, you know people actually enjoy the films and what I do here and if you have suggestions please reach out I love making videos for all of you here so always you know DM me I've got my information in the uh, extra information there and as always skinless is out